Hey guys, Laura here. Got Justice with me. Oh! Got Diabetes Ninja with me. Top of the morning. And guys, it's... Man, this is going up at the it's end... It's day two. <laughs> this is going up at the end of March. We might be running into April. Um, time for part two of our Christmas series. We played this for Christmas. It was a really fun video to edit. It was really fun to make. Uh, and Justice said he waited long enough. It's yeah. time to play again. I was extremely patient. And I then informed you that after being extremely patient for like a month, I'm going to come into this house. I'm going to play this game. And you are allowed to record it if you would like to have this on the channel. That's actually how I found him this morning. He was just on the couch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I gave you a warning over a month ago. You knew this was happening. Right? So, uh, we're going through this a little bit fast. Do we have a cliff Sorry. note? Does anybody know? You can just tell me the developments. We, uh, we're investigating the spontaneous combustions and the weird actress and the medication she was taking. Oh. People were actually set on fire, though. So, they're saying it's not from within. Uh, these detectives are fumbling with these phenomenon. Okay, gotcha. ESP, huh? Uh, that's extrasensory perception? Same one. I don't know if you, I mean, you can perceive somebody on fire, to be fair, <laughs> but you cannot. I think it falls under the same umbrella in their minds, like. Oh, we aren't. We can't deal with something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's fair. <laughs> My man, he's like, um. If you're gonna if you're gonna take on somebody that can brain you on fire, you're gonna need something beyond what you have. More guns. Dude, who doesn't like Torres, right? He's the best. If he's giving me a better gun, he's my friend for sure. I like it that this guy's basically like, well, I read your report. Also, a bunch of people were on fire. Um, yeah, like, I read your report. <laughs> sounds like bullshit, but we did find a lot of charred bodies at the scene. <laughs> I don't have a non-bullshit explanation for it, so. I like how he's still stuck on that. Right? Trapped in a room. You guys all right? <laughs> that's uh, that's how you get sat on fire. That's animation at its finest. I like that the background like dims, but the character doesn't. Uh, I I like how she didn't pick anything up. Well, it's a pre-rendered background. Oh, well, you know. So, quick question. Uh, saves can only be performed on landlines? Uh, yeah, you cannot, you cannot save your game on a, on a cell phone. That's a well-known fact. Door? Are we just not gonna acknowledge this is a door? Do I have to do something else first? I forget. It's been so long. That's dark game. Are you just gonna repeat yourself? Uh... Are we already stuck? It has been three minutes. Oh, okay, so X does in fact open doors. Gonna ask him how to open doors. Hey, can you open the front door for me? No? Uh, am I stupid? <laughs> am I the one who's wrong here? Wait, what? I don't know what I did different that time, but I'm just glad, honestly. Well, we'll just have to brute force hack it every other time we're going to use a door, just like oh, trust me. Sitting. Trust me, it won't be the first time we've had to do that. The last time? It won't be the last time? I mean, both. 
So, I guess we have answered the question of whether or not they do a background check of the respective <laughs> employees. Yeah. Just no, excuse me while I go through everyone's locker. Yeah. Oh, my inventory is full. So, we've got, we got a burger. Did you, did you ever see um, the movie Blue Streak? If I have it, don't call. Where, where the, guy, the guy's trying to sneak into the police department because years ago when the building was still in construction, he had like a diamond in there. And he, he went to jail, but he hid the diamond away. Now that he's out of jail for whatever crime they nailed him on, he goes back to the building and it's the police station. I don't think this person's shit. Damn. So he hits like a, a bullshit, like, bullshit credentials to try to sneak in there. And the guy who gives it to him goes, this uh, won't clear. Uh, this, the is, this is for Nemco. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Oh, look at those good boys! They were good boys. Do you get to have one? No, dude! These guys can't turn into zombies. I would be so upset if these well, guys... Well, that's why they won't let you take them out, because they will absolutely be set on fire. Without question. Yeah, they're just here for relaxing between your shifts. These aren't even, like... They don't use these for a specific purpose. They're just here to help cops, like, take the edge off. <laughs> it's working out so much. They're so good. <laughs> Wait a minute, no! No, I already know... Something bad's gonna happen. It, something bad better not happen. It is. It, it, it feels a lot like whenever you see a dog in a horror movie. You're like, oh yeah, love dogs, and you're like, oh no. <laughs> and or JoJo's. I didn't know the animal harm happened in JoJo's. That's terrible. <laughs> didn't you fight a man that was a bird? He beat me up though. That's like not the same. Uh, we don't need all of these medicine ones. Tool. I don't remember. What the, do those remove things from weapons? It just yeah, it breaks it down, up, right? I just didn't read it, and now I'm acting like I move. Okay, yeah, so you can, yeah, you can move things from one weapon to another with them. Are you Torres? Uh, yeah, he is. No, he's not. Oh no. Oh, he's the assistant. I forgot. Yeah. Got this guy existed. Oh, get out of here, you misogynistic creep! I'm trying to talk to Torres. I want a gun. Dude, I, I's not taking it. Taurus ain't taking that shit either. He's like, yeah, it's the 90s. I've got a ponytail. <laughs> That's a real, 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 real big AR on the wall <laughs> up there, by the way. <laughs> Like, that's big enough for RoboCop to handle. I imagine mean, they put a person in front of us so they can be like, wow, that's much larger than it should be. <laughs> yeah. See, I also have a goatee. I forgot about that. No, this criminal didn't rely on guns, actually. This criminal relied on pyronesis or whatever. Pyrokinesis? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for, pyronesis. Yeah, it's also your job not to send me off empty-handed. And you just hate people who bring politics to work. Yeah. <laughs> He's good at his job. And, you know, it, it's good to have a healthy respect when you're working in the firearms department. No, absolutely. Like, joking aside, they're, they're the best people. Oh, my God. There it is. Um, Man. It's the first It's the first phone alarm of 2020. I edited out that one in the Castlevania video, so this is the first one. <laughs> So while he does this, I'll, I'll finish up that movie. I was saying this this guy gets like these bullshit credentials, and the guy who hands it to him is like, "This won't check out. If they if they run any of this stuff, it's gonna red flag in 30 minutes. You this gets you in the door. You grab your diamond. You leave. So he goes in there and he hands over the credentials, and then he like ad libs bullshits some fucking questions, and they love him. And they said they'll get around the checking, but they're pretty sure that he's good enough and that they're shorthanded. And that he stays for like two months and becomes their best cop. Which sounds like a spoiler to the movie, but no, that's all in the first 20 minutes. So it's a comedy of errors. 
Wait a minute, no, no, no. So, it's a comedy. So It is a comedy. They love him. No, I wanted to put some items... Fuck. So they love him, but he can't go get the diamond for some reason now? Well, he's too busy being, like, the chief's new assistant or whatever. So he's too... And then they keep sending him on cases. So then he's, like, out on the street with this other rookie cop that he's supposed to be teaching. Is he, like, busting street, crimes. Is he, like, street smart, like, in Beverly Hills Cop or something like that? Yes. I forget the name of the actor. Is it Martin Lawrence? I think it is, actually. Rich Hobo, is it Martin Lawrence? Oh, now we know. Um, We don't know. The audience knows. Speak for yourself. <laughs> no, it's a really funny movie. Wait a minute, what? What did that guy say? Don't let the guns on you? What? Yeah, he, he's just saying don't let the gun, like, call the shots. Does he know what kind of danger we're fixing to be up against? No, because I don't think the uh, NYPD has had to deal with an opera singer who sets people on fire yet. <laughs> to be fair, nobody knows how to handle this situation. I'm just saying, wouldn't they be like, yeah, let's give her our best weapons because she's facing an unprecedented amount of danger that we don't know anything about? Couldn't they have just assigned a much more combat-ready partner to her? He's not a partner. Couldn't we have taken her and given her a partner who was more a previous military type? Yeah, it's Daniel, right? Yeah, Daniel's my partner. This is the guy who works in the uh, in the armory. Yeah, but... Oh, not this guy. Because this guy is an idiot. He's like... Well, oh, this guy also works in the armory. He's the assistant. I know, but he's... I thought you were saying he was your partner, but he's trying to tell you... You can never have too much firepower. <laughs> like, Look, I'm <laughs> probably Team Wayne on this one. Like, do you see what you're going up against? No, I need whatever you're allowed to give me. This is me. definitely an extreme situation. Give me those ARs, I'll find a way to the wheel it in a wheelchair and shoot it. I probably shouldn't things. be so hesitant to use these, but I'm just going to store them for now. I can always get the stuff out later. Are you ever going back to the rehearsal room at the theater? No, but you also can't discard key items. I don't think this thing has a limited space, though, so... We will be back. Do we not consider those we evidence? We will be back in this Shouldn't room, it be sure. in an evidence locker? Are those evidence? It's 1997, so no. You're right, they hadn't invented evidence yet. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I got some medicine one. Not in New York. Wow. Didn't know. The weird beef to have, but sure. Oh, I can't go this way. Yoko Shimomura did the soundtrack to this, and I don't know if I like the whole soundtrack as a whole that much. Wait, I'm pretty, okay, I'm pretty sure that I 100% said that I love the soundtrack the last video, but I kind of waver on it. I do, however, I have to take love it. this song. I like it too. So here's the thing. Are we pretending that a rehearsal key takes the same amount of size as a gun or a... You can't put more than one thing in a pocket. You have to understand that. Right, right, right. 1997. Gotcha. Yeah, it's women's jeans, too, so they're Whoa. pretty small. Whoa! No, that's, Whoa. A, that's correct. No, every woman I know would tell you that the pockets on a woman's jeans are bullshit. I'm pretty sure if I was a woman, I'd just wear men's jeans because I need, I need shit to work. Automatically, this is medicine. I don't hear you. <laughs> I don't know if they awarded. Oh. Uh, I don't know if they gave awards for sound design. They should. That's, yes, absolutely. <laughs> and I know that you probably can't in 2020 give this game that award unless you can. You can't tell me what I can and can't award. I mean, they can. Tell me, but I don't have to listen. I'm not required to listen to them. Yeah, that's true. I was actually mulling the idea of having like a podcast where we talk about like just awards that should have been awarded that didn't. That j j just wasn't anything for it at the time. Animation. This guy's got animation down pat. Look at that. It's perfect. Well, somebody's going to think the game is actually runs like that here in a minute. I mean, it, it is running like that right now. Yeah. Oh, it can. Are you a 
chop-sized adult? Nope, no, it's chop. That's a good question. Ben, you're like 10 years old. How, how did you get on the bus? Why? Where are we going? For now. <laughs> Fortunately, being alive doesn't uh, keep you from being a bitch. We don't know anything about this person. Also, we don't know that he isn't just trying to force responsibility that's, like, supposed to be his responsibility, too, on the mother. Like, concerts, ugh, that's mom things. Well, I don't know if I'm necessarily comfortable with that, dude. We all gotta take a more proactive role in raising our kid. Well, I mean, they're divorced, so... Yeah. I don't think there's a fight behind that. Yeah, there's not. I can't, I can't go this way. Right. Also... If oh. I put this song in Down of Crisis, no one would be the wiser. I feel like if you put this song in Resident Evil 2, no one would be any wiser either. Same. in a non uh geez what is this visual representation style what i feel like it belongs in this uh, kind of visual pre-rendered background ps1 era overhead like three quarter or whatever fixed perspective. camera angle fixed, yeah aka the best era mm. see every, play, play every era has its merits play resident evil 2 and then play resident evil 2 remake and then tell oh it's so good the remake is super oh, good. Oh, it's I so it. good. So you just have the X over the doorknob. Is this guy going to tell us to come back later again? It oh, is later. He was looking for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Some cat tar dancing right there. I cannot get a uh, 10,000 needles attack, but I can get a gun blade in the second game. Mm. I'm not the sole survivor. The guy I was there with got out alive. Oh yeah, your boyfriend. My Fuck date. That. Fuck that guy. I mean, what was he supposed to do? If the man no is looking to grill you, why have her present at all? No, they're looking to grill the department. He's going to want the... They're going to grill them even harder if the one person they had on the scene doesn't show up. Basically, I think his, his concept is like, it's best to go ahead and get your side of the story out before they do it for you. That checks out. Yeah, you should be proactive on these things. Oh, I, I understand that that's like what the playbook says. I don't know if that's gonna work out good. We'll see. Whoa. This is way before 2001, huh? Uh, so the word terrorist didn't have the same connotation as it does now. Includes the 1998 collector's CD, so probably? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, um... Well, they call them firemen for a reason. Highly flammable chemical, which was used to start the fire. Oh. The highly flammable chemical was her eyes. It's pretty cool, Baker. The only problem I have is that you're a fucking liar about this. <laughs> She's just really good. <laughs> yeah, no, that's exactly basically what he said. Ask her the question.
That's just what I was alluding to. Like, why, uh, why allow this to happen? Yeah, like, if you're going to, if you're going to bring her here, you should let her be the one to do the talking. If you're going to try to make up your own story, you probably shouldn't have her on the scene. Dude, if I'm a reporter, I just start walking away. Dude, I love how the reporters are like, all right, we'll take that at face value. So what's Eve? <laughs> Very tired. <laughs> oh. Well, now you look like a bunch of jackasses trying to control the narrative. Dude, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, you can't... Ugh. You didn't know. I don't think you told me not to say... Did he tell me not to say anything? He said he not did. to say anything. I said not unless I tell you to. Fair enough. He, he's not wrong. Yeah, because telling them there was a highly there's a terrorist attack with a new highly flammable chemical that can set an entire opera house on fire in seconds. That won't cause the people to panic. Yeah, but at least they have a face for their boogeyman. I have a face for the boogeyman. It's my mitochondria. Oh my god. <laughs> Mito. So this is like the one instance where all that talk about mitochondria being the powerhouse of the cell is actually going to like come to the fore? Are yeah. we... Uh, actually, oh. this this is a documentary. Uh, this was based on a true story. This is why we uh, have that education nowadays. Hell yeah. Because people just didn't know what it was. People didn't know what we were talking about. You know? Alright. Education is the first line of defense. I'm just saying, prioritizing the resources that are used to educate people in the public school systems. I still think that... I like how Danielle, or Danielle just informs the chief, hey, I'm gonna do X. <laughs> and the chief's like, go for it, bro. <laughs> Dude, the chief... I mean, what? the chief doesn't have a plan. Daniel has a plan. Daniel just kind of seems like that guy oh, where... Dude, please tell me we get another fucking 10,000 mile per hour driving scene. Oh, yeah. Always. I should oh. probably save. I don't know. need to save. The machine, like, crashes and you gotta do all that again. Ooh. Oh shit, wait, were the guys out of the locker room yet? No, no I'll get that thing later. in the museum. Don't question it. Most of the science museums have a laboratory. Is that a real thing? I don't go to yeah, museums Museums aren't usually there just to be a museum. Goodness, they're also sir, where they're go. <laughs> Man, we are tearing ass through this fucking small alley thing. <laughs> <laughs> In New there York. is not enough room for yeah, a car. Yeah, that <laughs> other lane. Like, that must be a bike lane, right? Right. <laughs> Look at the road, please. Please watch the road. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's he's going 120 miles an hour through this narrow, like probably windy, you know. God, listen with your ears, not your eyes. <laughs> That's like one of my pet peeves in in like cop shows and stuff. Is when they're driving somewhere and the driver's just like, so, I'm like, dude, the fucking road, though. <laughs> <laughs> Go talk to the nerds. Wow. 
I didn't see him kiss the chief's butt. I, I saw him inform the chief that the plan was uh in motion. It's also been a while since I've been to the museum. Uh, I've been to the uh, aviation museum not not too terribly long ago. I just realized she was dating when the last time I went. Okay, it's been six years. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, let me just retract that whole statement. It's been a while since I've been to a museum. Don't do this to me. <laughs> I just, it's, it's very enjoyable. It's a flashlight, yeah. That is one big 1997 flashlight. Just trying to figure out what he was holding. Like how the guard's like, oh, you're here from a boy? No, well, <laughs> stepping aside. I mean, they're the cops. I'm not. Place is pretty creepy without the budget to animate people. I think this is a phone? No. So, uh, I've noticed a lack of ambient music. Do you think that we'll get ambient music once this nerd starts telling us things? Like, is the music going to be in... Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the phone. Time to save. I mean, again. Do I need to? No. Pretty sure this next part's just like a bunch of cutscenes. This whole video is on track to be a bunch of cutscenes. I'm not sure if you do a lot of gameplay for day two. It's been a minute since I've heard, or not, since I've <laughs> seen the game. Dude, I'm not sure if they had the animation budget for it, but it really does look like they just animated her giving him the finger. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure the finger was up and everything. That's kind of a character. Yeah. Mm, so. How much science do you like in your RPGs? Because I absolutely remember this. This is very reminiscent of the uh, Cosmo Canyon cutscene. <laughs> the guy explains everything about all of the planets. But it's all bullshit. Pretty much like what you're about to hear. <laughs> Sometimes when I look at scientists, I lose conscious too. Yeah, that's why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> Drop 
dropping the names. One four words. <laughs> I don't know if allow is the word. <laughs> These two have the exact same feeling, don't worry. <laughs> Daniel's face. I appreciate it. Right now. <laughs> I appreciate the chemistry these two characters just naturally have. It really does bring the game alive. Oh, I did not know and do not believe that. Well, I mean, we watched somebody set some of the whole theater on fire, so... Uh, you know, fair enough. Heat. <laughs> Now yeah, here we go. This this is relevant. Yeah, specifically to melt. Okay. I'm not sure the word simple is applicable here. This guy is very passionate against, about mitochondria. He's in the right field, you know? Right. I want my scientist to be passionate about something. He's not too passionate, though. He's mad that other people don't know it, though. Like, yeah, he's like, like don't you... have to have some, some temper, some temperance. You know? Yeah. Everybody isn't a scientist guy. In fact, most people are not a scientist. He's really using denigrating language to talk about everything <laughs> that isn't a mitochondria. Whoa. I like that the mitochondria um, say it's, it's time to die. You must die. Hello, cells. Welcome to die. <laughs> also, shouldn't they say, yeah, we're going to stop you right here. Um, we don't plan on explaining everything that you're no, explaining to us right now to everyone also, else. The more info you have, the better. Also, mitochondria is the reason why taxes are a pain to file. <laughs> if, every, if every single mitochondria on the human body paid taxes, imagine the wealth that we could... <laughs> How do we stop the problem? How do we stop the problem? I don't <laughs> want to know about any of this. How do we stop people turning on fire? Please. Also, my question is... Are you is, still stupid she, enough to say we are the was, higher species? Did he just say the mitochondria were the higher, higher species of humans? If she can just signal their mitochondria to make them, like, burst into flames, can't she just signal their mitochondria to signal all of their cells to die? Wouldn't that be, like, more efficient? But it wouldn't be as cool. You're right, you're right. It wouldn't create such a gripping cutscene as the one that started this game. <laughs> Can I get a rewind on that guy punching the air just a second ago? That was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Those two things aren't... I mean, if you can mutate faster, you can evolve faster. <sighs> Um, no, it, it the absolutely is a So, surprise. like I said, the, the guy who wrote this book did a lot of research and a lot of good scientific fact into his book. But, obviously, to make this story happen, he had to add a little spice, you know? He had to have a scientist who was half Hojo from Final Fantasy VII, half Doctor Strange. He, he is very Hojo, isn't he? Yeah. Like, he just is Hojo in another game. I, actually, you know what? Now that I remember this game's uh, ties to Final Fantasy VII, that just makes sense. <laughs> right. Man, this means that there was somewhere out there a version of Final Fantasy VII where Hojo lectured us about mitochondria. <laughs> we missed out on that Final Fantasy VII, guys. Speaking of spreading the wildfires, how do we stop Eve? <laughs> <laughs> There you go.
Um, That's the face of a man saying what? <laughs> I imagine that's just always his face. His voice, like, varies. <laughs> no, he's, he's actually not holding back on us. He's telling us too much. Like, we, this is too much of the not. We, uh. Oh, that doesn't, mean, that doesn't mean anything. That's exactly what Hojo would say. But say so you're talking to a police officer in 1997, I, I don't know if I confidently turned my back. That reporter confidently turned his back. That was a mistake. I don't want to accidentally be resisting arrest. Do we feel like that information had to be gotten in person? Do we feel like the phone call <laughs> would have sufficed? <laughs> oh, oh my <laughs> god! Oh! Oh, it's so much scarier head on! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Daniel, we gotta talk about this. <laughs> you know, I feel like if you don't. I mean, does this auto advance? We are no longer in New York. We can't be. <laughs> well, that's what I was gonna say is do you advance the conversation yourself by pressing exercise? Yes, yes, I do. So that means that if you were to, like, leave this alone and it stayed where it was at, on this. Theoretical straight road. You would eventually get to like Alaska, probably in like I don't know, ten hours. What an impossible road. Oh no! Oh, yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, you are. Go fast, please. <laughs> I can't. They can't short. It just blurs black. <laughs> All right, back here. I might have for Zala phones to make it come back. <laughs> but I'll say you could honestly sample the song and rap over it, and it'd be a pretty chill beat. The whole department is going nuts, and that means whoever stashed whatever that was in this locker is gone, right? Can I open it? Oh, there was one. Oh, you figured? Right. Yeah, 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 I get to. I get to get it later. Oh my god. It's never not going to be fun. Oh, wait, the coffin's room. Oh, so it's the others into the hall. Well, what are you doing here? <sighs> right? Like, why is this Why is this guy excuse? I guess somebody has to, like, watch them. No, because you wouldn't have any of your detectives watching the phones. Um... Everybody's got walkie-talkies, right? I mean, after the budget cuts, man. Nice, no, seven. Right, right, right. All right. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> important had walkie-talkies. I almost want the blackboard to say, telling reporters about the mitochondria with the big nose symbol. <laughs> <laughs> It only has that and on the other side sticking to the story with like a check mark next to it. <laughs> they didn't cancel the show. Usually uh, radio I feel stations like things happen pretty fast. Yeah, usually radio stations are right on top of that though, right? Usually people's booking agents tell the radio stations. You know, his ability to drive fast is going to get him there much faster than anybody else. He's already there. there. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel's got this case covered. I have 
dude. I'm never getting in front of him. Partially because he goes too fast, and partially because he doesn't look where he's going. <laughs> nope. I got another mod for him. Do I want to use it? Uh, you don't need to use it right now. But I want to carry it. I'll go put it in the I can't go put it in the <laughs> Are they like, no, go watch it back? Go watch it, wait. Where the f how the fuck? Shit. <laughs> I could have sworn it wouldn't let me move the screen, I thought. Oh, okay. There he goes! He doesn't run very fast. He doesn't run nearly as fast as he drives, which I guess is true for most people. Oh, yeah. Now we know what he's compensating for. Whenever you show any restraint whatsoever. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. Yeah, like, I feel like guns are strong enough. I mean, Did they what? They one-shot people? Like, if I'm Torres, I immediately <laughs> alert. I immediately alert every supervisor I have. Like, this guy is a yeah, crazy. Person. I don't know that this guy should work in this department. Oh. Yeah, I don't think <laughs> we should be doing that. Though. It's not whether you can, my guy. We're here to serve and protect. So. See, How to serve a cannon see, you know, while serving head. and protecting. <laughs> Like, I, I get it. That guy thinks that the stakes have been raised by the pyrokinesis lady, I guess. Um, no, he's just always like that. Yeah, Yeah, no, yeah. I, I feel like he was that way. Uh, the other guy one. is like... The other guy definitely is like, the stakes have been raised. Like, I don't want to be giving you what I'm giving you, but also, we kind of need to. I just want you to know, I don't like it. I respect that. I respect Torres for being like, I would like the fewest number of M16s on the street, but like, you do need one. <laughs> oh no. Oh shit. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you. He's much slower in pressing things. Alright, hang on. For a trouble, you're gonna have to pause this. Hey, we're, we're back on the highway. <laughs> Don't pay any attention to that jump at it. That wasn't nobody's phone. <laughs> don't we all? No. Just gather people up in an area. I don't. Actually, um, I don't know that you need to, like, there being a large, large group of people is probably more important than the sun. Yeah, but the sun makes it personal. You know? I hope that he I think drives he would, this fast. Yeah, I think he would still be concerned if it was just like a few hundred people that weren't his son, but, you know. The one that he cares about the most. Your son's worth about, like, you know, five people at least, well, right? Well, no, not only worth one person, but it does put a face on the issue. Uh, um, you know. We don't know if this guy thinks better or worse under duress. Be we know it doesn't run any faster on new duress. Oh. That does not bode well for the people in there. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, but let's see if you burn, who doesn't burn. You're going to burn, like, right there, and your son <laughs> is still going to be in the same predicament. Yeah, let me go since I won't burn. I see that. It's frustrating though, you know? <laughs> so if we're already burning by the gate, who wants to bet that uh, everybody inside said gate is just already... Mm, I mean, no, we're... Finally, Chris. We've got imaginations. Let's see, can I... Have we so soon forgotten the sacrifice of Piero? I have never stopped thinking about it. <laughs> Just continuously sad because of the arrow. 
I mean, that plus those pairs, man. I know Ben's in mortal danger, but I just... I can't stop doing it. You know, if somebody Listen. was going to rescue my son and they did that on the way, I'd, I'd be <laughs> at ease. Just like tap dance. I mean, but you want to know what Don't like... worry. I'll get him out safely. <laughs> just like it does like a tap dance number down the sidewalk. <laughs> like, oh, good. Well, no, I'm glad they're taking this seriously. There we go. I think that whenever you, uh, whenever you see how close you can not get to it without bursting into flames, though, I feel like we know Ben's gone, right? <laughs> like, I feel like when the game gives, and when any game gives you something to cure poison, it's just like the game announcing you're not having fun in this next area. <laughs> Speaking of uh, this next area, that's what the next video is gonna be. Yeah, sorry, this wasn't the most action-packed episode, but you did get to see that sick Tokyo Drift. Our next video is gonna be probably an hour of us fighting a bunch of shit in the park. Central Park, park can last for a while. That's for sure. And uh, guys, I'm not gonna make a promise when Part Three is coming out. But it's going to be a hell of a lot sooner than four months.